Alright, what's good, y'all? So, now, mind you, I had done this video and then it cut off on me while I was taping, so I got to do it all over again, but that's all good. Um, so, yesterday, you or the last video, you remember that I was talking a little bit about, uh, you know, there's, be nothing, there's nothing wrong with being ordinary. As a matter of fact, there's actually a lot of value in things being ordinary and continuing a, um, a consistent manner. Um, um, and I just wanted to take that a little bit deeper because um, mo most of you probably know the story of David and Goliath. And in the story of David and Goliath, we often assume that, or, or, or let me not say it, we assume, but we, we kind of approach the story, or when we, sorry, when we apply the story to ourselves, we apply it in such a way that makes it seem as if we should go looking for Goliaths, oftentimes. And the interesting thing that a devotion I was reading brought out was that David never went seeking a Goliath, right? David wasn't looking for Goliath. David wasn't looking for a battle. David wasn't looking for a fight. Um, he just happened to come upon a situation that required him to step into battle against this Goliath, against this giant that was in front of him. And the interesting thing about that is uh, most people, his his brothers, his even his king, they were like, yo, what are you doing? Like, you've never trained for war. You're going to lose. And it's amazing how confident David was stepping into a situation that he had never been in in its truest sense, but he understood that he had transferable skills, right? And we talked about transferable skills um, elsewhere. We talked about it uh, when we were talking about, you know, switching from maybe one type of job to a newer type of job or what have you and the importance of transferable skills uh you might use these skills in one industry but you can apply them in another industry and what david understood is that he's like listen like i've never technically fought against another human being in this kind of way but i prepared for this but it's interesting how he prepared because he he was never in the limelight even his father like wasn't that impressed with the job that he had and his job was to tend and keep sheep right nothing exciting about that nothing about that's going to get you known to the rest of the world you know what i'm saying there's nothing about that is going to give you a name for yourself but when everybody's doubting him um david eventually checks the king he's like yo no i've never fought goliath but in when i was doing the work that i was doing i did have to fight a bear or two i did have to fight lions and i came out on top and i won um, and so sometimes we don't realize how much just going throughout our ordinary day and mastering the craft, mastering what's ordinary before us, taking it to the highest level, meeting the challenges that come naturally throughout our day, how much that prepares us then for when the Goliath does come up. And instead of us going out and trying to find the Goliath, we have enough, um, uh, we have enough on our plate for today for us to be then for us to be worrying about trying to find the Goliath to make our name great. So I'm just simply encouraging us to simply, you know, where do you see yourself right now? What are the tasks that are before you? What job are you in? What relationship are you in? Take those things as deep as you can. Master it as much as you can. Overcome in those situations and in those scenarios as much as you can, right? Deal with the lions and the bears of those situations and at some point, you know, and, and we don't know if it's going to blow you up or anything like that. But what will happen is everybody, all of us experiences a giant in some way, shape or form that comes into our life. And I believe that if we master the lions and the bears while nobody's watching, then we'll, we'll be able to defeat the Goliath. And it's important because imagine if he hadn't mastered fighting those lions and bears and tried to go up against a Goliath without having that training, without having that the background without having mastered those transferable skills. He might have lost his life, right? So what do you have to lose if you try to find Goliath and you're not prepared for the Goliath, right? So I just want to leave y'all with that, man. Focus on where you're at. Master where you're at. And we'll see what Goliath's come into place. And I guarantee that, or well, I can't guarantee, but if you've done what you're supposed to, I believe that you will defeat the Goliath. So again, we're talking about not being average. Don't don't you're not average because you focused 
on the day-to-day -day and mastering the day-to-day -day grind. That doesn't make you average. That will make you powerful. It is making you powerful even though you can't see it. It is making you a master even though you can't see it. It is making you explosive even though you can't see it. And it, nobody needs to see it right now. But at the right time, the Goliath is going to feel that explosiveness. The Goliath is going to see the power that, that, that is within you. And everybody will be a witness to that thing at the right time and at the appointed time. But don't try to make it happen too soon, all right? Anyway, average is failure. This year, we're going to see that explosiveness. We're going to see that power coming to fruition. This is Born Edmund. I'm out of here. Peace.